All right, everybody, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today, I'm gonna to be doing my first tasting of the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye. So you may have watched a lot of reviews about the Rare Breed Rye, but this is gonna be different from any of the ones you've ever seen, and this is why. I am a fan of Wild Turkey, and it shows. Check my resume. I did a review, initial and long-term, of the Wild Turkey 101. Nobody's reviewing Wild Turkey 101 or more. You know, that's plain. Nobody cares about that. Then I moved it up to the Kentucky Spirit, the 101 single barrel. Then I had the Rare Breed. Man, that one hit you, hit you. Started off hot, cooled off. The Russell's Reserve, the single barrel, bam can't complain on that solid solid bourbon so it's only right that I continue going through the range with this the rare breed rye background information this is 112.2 barrel proof it's uncut and also from what I can understand this is non-chill filtered proudly advertised as non-chill filtered so what am I expecting the rare breed I remember when you first hit it, it was like, boom. Okay, you knew you were having a drink. Non-chill filtered, my experience with these non-chill filtered bourbons that usually it kind of gives it a little bit of more, more body. You know, it's hard to explain, but if you've been drinking bourbon and whiskeys for a while, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm kind of expecting that. Also, I'm expecting the rye, even wild turkey regular, that rye kind of shines through, but Barrel proof, I don't know. Is this, I'm thinking, this might be my first barrel proof rye. Let's go ahead and crack this sucker open, get some in the glass. Cork pop, here we go. Decent cork pop. Now you're only gonna need a little bit of this, you know, this barrel proof stuff. A little's gonna go a long way. And that reminds me to tell people, a lot of people trying to get into the bourbon game now, you know, it's getting more popular. Yo, know, when you get into the bourbon game, like start off small, start off slow. Do not just try to jump right into these barrel proof stuff. You really can't get anything over 100 proof, especially if you're like coming from scotch or, you know, whiskeys that are really diluted. Just don't do it. You're going to have a bad experience. I always tell people start off, you know, in those 90s, then maybe move up to like the Knob Creek 100. Then I think after that, you'll just get used to, to these whiskeys because another thing is you got to learn how to drink these things, man. You don't, you don't drink these like how you drink scotches and stuff. You want to take small, small sips, especially with these barrel proof ones. So, hey, you know, just trying to give you some advice. Grown men, do what you want to do. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got here happening. Got some legs on here, definitely. Let me see what is we got on the nose. Oh, wow, 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 this is different, this is different. Mint, mint is what I'm getting. Not spare mint, oh, a different type of mint. Mint mixed with something else, I can't place it. Oh man, some type of oh man this is crazy i can't place it but overall think think some type of like minty peppermint type of thing is what i'm getting the ethanol burn is there but that that mint or peppermint or whatever type of mint it is i'm tasting is kind of you know balancing it out all right time to go in but before that before that pause put everything down debbie Pittman, i saw your message you requested this bottle i told you at the time i already had it but i just had it open so Debbie Pittman, this one's for you. Cheers. Hopefully you got one of these out there too. Let's do it. Go in for the taste. Okay, so on the palate, unfortunately, a lot of the flavors didn't develop. Now, that could be because this is just a neck pour off 112 proof bottle, but a lot of the flavors didn't develop. What I'm getting more than anything at first on the palate is just the alcohol. And then at the end, I'm getting that, that minty taste. The mint on the nose, whatever that is, how that smells is way better than what it's tasting like kind of palate, but it's there. The finish, finish is actually pretty quick for um, the rare breed. I remember the finish on the regular rare breed, it, it's like, okay, boom, you feel it. But this one, maybe not so much. Let me get one more to make sure. 
Okay, so this is interesting. To me, the finish, it goes down with very little to no burn. Maybe that's why I'm not really feeling it a lot. The taste is still there, but as far as on my stomach, I mean, the finish seems quick to me. For again, a non-chill filtered 112.2 whatever proof spirit. But this is why you need somebody like me that does these long-term reviews because I need to let this oxidize. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this on my counter just like this. Just take off the cap, let it sit like that for like a week or something. Let it breathe. Now, people have no problems with letting wine breathe, so I don't know why you wouldn't let your, let your whiskey breathe. Let it breathe. The reason I got that is because I remember back when I had those Elijah Craig's, those barrel proof ones, I noticed that if you took off the cap for a few days or something, it just made it a whole lot better. I'm a firm believer in, you know, neck pours and stuff like that. I know it's controversial, but for me, I can taste the difference. Let me go ahead and wrap up. So today, this was the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye Barrel Proof, non-chill filtered. Gave you guys the nose, I gave you guys the tasting. First impression, uh, the nose smells really good. I didn't get a lot of flavors on the palate, but I think it's just because it hasn't really developed yet. Um, overwhelming, the, the main thing I'm getting is like spearmint, both on the nose and on the palate. As far as a recommendation, I can't say anything yet because again, I just know what Wild Turkey has to offer and I'm not really getting anything yet. So when I come back in the long term, I'll let you know what I think. Uh, I think that's all I got for now. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Dark Spirits. You got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes? <laughs> no.